Hey, in this video, I will show you how to batch process raw files with Retouch For Me Clean Backdrop plugin. This plugin retouches studio background, makes it clean. You will need Adobe Bridge, Photoshop, and Lightroom to pre develop raw files. I have a series of photos taken with Canon EOS R. Thanks to Oleg Romano for the photos. The shooting conditions are the same everywhere. There is a studio background behind the model and it is not quite clean. Here you can see dirt on the camera sensor, spots on the background itself. Some dirt and folds are also visible on the floor. It would be nice to get rid of them. I've already edited these photos in Lightroom. I didn't do anything complicated here. I changed the profile to camera portrait version 2. Set the white balance and played a little with the contrast and exposure. I applied all the settings to all the photos, as the lighting conditions were the same during the entire shoot. This is how the photos look right after opening in Lightroom. For batch processing, I'll be using Adobe Bridge. And here the photos look exactly the same. In order to transfer my processing to Bridge, I'm selecting all the photos in Lightroom and choosing from Metadata Menu. Save Metadata to Files. As the metadata is saved, Bridge immediately changes previews. It doesn't even need to be restarted. It's time to record an action for batch processing. But before recording the action, it is important to set the correct parameters for the plugin. And now I will show you how to do that. To begin with, I will send one photo from Lightroom to Photoshop. The background defects are hard to see now. So I'm going to create an adjustment layer with a solar curve. This curve has four bends and it enhances contrast in all tonal ranges of the image. It is very easy to evaluate the quality of retouching on smooth gradients using this curve. Now let's create a copy of the layer and run Retouch For Me Clean Backdrop. The plugin should work in high resolution mode. When Blend Slider is set to 100%, sometimes dark areas become, on the contrary, lighter than the background itself. Therefore, I will try to choose such a blend value, at which the dark spots will become equal in brightness to the background. For example, like this. Now, let's see how the dirt on the floor is retouched. If you reduce Blend too much, dirt will start to appear. So it's important to find a middle ground. It looks fine to me now. I click apply and let's compare before and after while applying the solar curve. Personally, I very much doubt that any of you will be able to do such retouching manually while keeping the noise pattern, shadows and light transitions on the background smooth. This is how it looks without the solar curve. It's time to record an action. Let's create a blank document. Now, in the action panel, I'll select my previously created Retouch For Me folder. I click on the icon to create a new action. Now, I'm going to run the plugin in high resolution mode with the given blend value. I click Apply and stop recording the action. Done. The action is extremely simple. I just applied the plugin and that's it. Open documents can be closed, they are no longer needed. Now I'm opening Bridge, selecting all the images, choosing Photoshop from the Tools menu, then Image Processor. I select my action in the opened window. I will save the photo in JPEG format with sRGB color profile. You can also set the folder for saving the processed files. The setup is complete. Let's start batching. Everything happens automatically, so you can either go on shooting or drink tea or sleep if you have a lot of files to retouch. The processing is over. For ease of comparison, I developed the photos in Lightroom, loaded these files into Photoshop, and on top I loaded retouched photos with a solar curve layer. There were spots on the background and sensor dust. Let's see the photo with the solar curve. Here is a photo before 
and after applying the plugin. The background looks nice and clean. Dirt, dust, and spots have been removed from all the pictures. Imagine how much time you will save using the plugins for such photos. Let's see the next photo. Here is a photo before. One small spot on the sensor, but it will appear in all photos. The floor here was also nicely retouched. Anyone who shot catalogs knows that even if you shoot a model in clean shoes, the floor will still be dirty after a few hours of shooting. Even if these are some small changes, multiply the retouching time by the number of photos and count how many hours of your life you could spend on something else. Once again, I would like to draw your attention to the fact that the plugin doesn't fill the background with one color. It retouches the dirt that is in the pictures. The shadows remain the same. Therefore, if you are shooting a subject or do catalog photography, thanks to this, your photos will look very natural. When a viewer or potential buyer sees an object with a shadow, they feel it is more realistic than an object on a solid background. If you are manually retouching the background, try to apply a solar curve layer and see before, after. Are you as good at removing defects from the background as you thought? And compare with the plugin results that are obtained automatically and have better quality. Think how much time you can save by using this plugin. That's all. Like it if this video was helpful to you. Retouch for Me plugins are available on the website retouch4.me. See the links in the video description. Bye everyone.